safety matters. It was early on New Year's Day. 18 year old Kelly Duke was driving drunk and he killed a husband and wife. What did the teenager do? Well, he bolted. Tonight, though, he is done running. Fox 6's Brett Beganski is here with the final chapter to all of this. Brett. Brent, and good evening. An emotional day in court for all the families involved. Judge David Borowski sentenced Duke to 30 years in prison. The Thay's family said no prison sentence would ever make things right, but they said it's just the beginning of an even bigger fight. Judge Duke, you have harmed or wounded the lives of many of the people in this world. The courtroom gallery packed and emotional as both sides wipe the tears away as 18 year old Kelly Duke is sentenced to 30 years in prison. It was New Year's Eve of last year when the then 17 year old got behind the wheel intoxicated and crashed into Gene and Ed Faves, which cost them their lives. Duke also left the crash scene. I can't believe that somebody actually killed somebody and never looked back. The Thaves family, along with the state, pleaded for the maximum sentence of 45 years, while Duke's defense asked the judge for 15 years. <laughs> And for the first time, Duke showed remorse in the courtroom. While his family pleaded for lenience, his emotions got the best of him as he put his head down. I don't believe you're truly sorry. I believe you're sorry that you're going to jail. You're not sorry for what you did. You're sorry you got caught. Judge Borowski said Duke didn't deserve the maximum sentence, but said given the fact he killed two people, he deserved substantial prison time. There's no amount of time that Kelly Duke could send in, in jail that would... Um, Bring back Ed and Jean. But while the victim's family begins the healing process, they urge a call to action. It's time for our elected leaders to get together and pass common sense laws on drug driving. And on top of Kelly Duke's 30 year prison sentence, he also received 12 years of extended supervision. Duke also has the option to appeal this sentencing. Live in the newsroom, Brett Boganski, Fox 6 News. Wow, so it may not be over. Thank you, Brett, for that. Four Milwaukee police officers accused.